What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic Cedarus versus Franchon Cruz for Undisputed, and Lopez versus Cambosas Jr. for Unified Lightweight Belts. Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. On a block with the pole, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? Pretty rich on me titties, huh? And I got the glitz, you run up on me, I'ma make you get it. I'ma make you get it. Okay, boxing fans, let's talk some boxing. We're gonna chop it up today. Alright, so, as you all know, coming up uh, Saturday, June 19th, is a big fight. We have uh, Ellen Cedarus versus Franchon Cruz Desern for the undisputed super middleweight championship. Okay, and we also have some other fights on the card. We have the uh Teofimo Lopez versus Cambosos for the unified lightweight uh championship, and we have Hunter versus Wilson for WBA heavyweight eliminator, and we also have Vences versus uh Jonah Carroll for vacant WBC international super featherweight silver championship so it's a we're having a great night of boxing okay we have two good uh well actually uh four good fights uh coming up okay uh we have the uh cruz design versus federal for the uh super middleweight uh belt uh undisputed uh belt that is i mean undisputed championship so uh that should be a fantastic fight uh you know and we all saw Cedarus came off a win against uh alicia napoleon napoleon uh the empress espinosa uh it was a great fight between those two uh it was a unification bout uh the empress uh unfortunately she lost that fight to Cedarus in a fairly close fight uh, we also saw Franchon Cruz Desern come off a win against uh, Alejandra Jimenez. Now, in the Jimenez fight, the Jimenez and uh, Cruz fight, uh, actually, it was uh, Alejandra Jimenez that you know got the decision initially in a split decision uh, win over Franchon Cruz. But it was later on found out that she had uh, performance enhancing substances. Uh, she tested positive for that. So uh, she was suspended and stripped of the titles and the titles went to uh, Franchon Cruz. So uh, Franchon Cruz, you know, is coming with two belts and so is uh, Ellen Cedarus. And they're going to be uh, fighting for undisputed uh, in this fight. Now that should be this should be a great fight because uh in the fight between Cedarus and Alicia Espinosa, that was also a great fight. Uh unfortunately for Alicia the Empress, uh she wasn't able to overcome the disadvantages that she had against Cedarus because Cedarus had the, the reach and height advantage. Okay, and it uh Alicia had a hard time getting on the inside. Uh to get to our uh, Cedarus. And when she did try to come in the inside, uh, Cedarus would, you know, uh, catch her coming in several times. So, uh, Cedarus basically, you know, she fought tall, uh, used her advantages of height and reach, got good leverage in her punches uh, down the stretch, and, you know, was able to uh, defeat uh, Alicia the Empress Espinosa in a very, you know, in a good fight. It was a great fight, actually. Uh, you know, so uh, Cedar uh, was came out on top in that battle, and now she's you know, uh, fixing the fight for the undisputed middleweight championship against Cruz Desern. In the Cruz Desern and uh, Alejandro Jimenez fight, that was a barn burner, okay. And you can see, you know, uh, it was a tough fight uh, for both women, uh, with uh, Jimenez, you know, getting the nod in the split decision, but as I said, she was later disqualified, uh, suspended. Because she was using, uh, she tested positive for performance enhancing substances. And so, she, you know, she had to be stripped of the title. But uh, nonetheless, the fight itself was a barn burner. Okay. Very, you know, close fight. Uh, very good fight, you know, uh, for uh, 
find John Cruz, okay? Uh, considering that she was fighting, you know, she had an un uh, Eminem had an unfair advantage against her. But the fight was a great fight. So now we have these, you know, these two women, you know, uh, two great champions in our Seti Rose and Cruz de Zern, you know, you know, battling head to head for the undisputed, you know, uh, which the only person that has undisputed so far in women's boxing has been uh, Katie Taylor and, uh, you know, uh, Shields, you know, T-Rex. So uh, this fight should be a great fight, okay? I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, you know, this is going to be a, a battle for supremacy between these two women. And I'm thinking it's going to be a great fight. I mean, uh, Cedarus has the height and reach advantage as usual. She's very tall, okay. And uh, but said, but I, I would think that Fran John Cruz had the the power advantage. You know, she's a hard hitting uh, champion. You know, and uh, uh, I'm thinking that she has a lot of you know uh, good uh, power as well as good skills and technique in that ring. Okay, you know, she's a warrior in there. And so uh, Cedric was going to be tested in this fight, okay? So, I mean, to me, it's probably a 50-50 fight. I'm uh, not sure who's going to win the fight, but, uh, you know, it should be uh, an exciting fight, and uh, it should be a great fight at that. So I'm definitely looking forward to this one, man. It's going to be a... I think this one is going to be a barn burner, okay? Now, uh, in the fight between Alicia and the Empress, Seti Rules did show a little, some toughness in there because there was some point where uh, Alicia the Empress was taking it to her and I thought that, you know, it seemed that she might have, you know, she was going to fold, but she was getting good, uh, she was getting very good advice from a corner. That's, that's the thing about Seti Rules, she has a great corner, the best corner I've ever seen in boxing so far. Okay, and I've been watching a lot of boxing over the many years, okay? I mean, they give a good advice in the corner. Her, you know, like I said, like I, you know, I said in my previous video about uh, that fight, you know, Seti Rose's corner, her corner man actually come into the ring and meet her before she even get to the, uh, to the stool and help her to sit down on the stool, which is a great thing to do, you know, uh, you know, trying to conserve all of her energy. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a great, she got a great corner. So, you know, she, that's a good advantage. Having a good corner, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, when you have a great corner, you know, it's a valuable asset. So, uh, I'm interested to see how they're going to, you know, approach this fight. Uh, you know, her in the corner against uh, Fran John Cruz, because like I said, Fran John Cruz is a hard hitting uh, champion. And, you know, she's going in there and she's going to be putting the pressure on Cedarus for the whole fight. That's how she fights. She's a pressure fighter. So, this should be a great fight for boxing, man. I mean, this is going to be a great fight for boxing fans. And, uh, you know, uh, definitely looking uh, forward to seeing this fight play out. Okay. Now, the question is, who's going to win this fight? Well, I, I mean, again, I, I, I'm thinking it's a 50-50 fight. So it's, it's kind of tough to say who's going to win the fight. Okay. But, again, I think maybe... Uh, you know, uh, Fran Chong Cruz probably had a better experience because she has fought the toughest fighter. She, you know, she fought Shields, you know, uh, uh, for the title. Uh, I mean, she, or well, she actually fought Shields before, which, you know, Shields is the current, uh, undisputed, uh, champ right now at middleweight. Okay. And, and so, uh, you know, uh, I'm thinking that. She has a lot of, you know, she has good experience, probably better experience than, uh, than, uh, Seti Rule. So, you know, she should have an advantage in the experience part, you know, I mean, but, uh, we still, uh, we can't count, uh, Seti Rose out because again, uh, she has a lot of advantages in the fight, you know, in terms of height and reach. And, uh, she got a lot of good levels of the punches if, if she can, if she can stay at range and, and keep, uh, uh, Franchon Cruz at range. Franchon is going to have to try and get on the inside and take the fight to Seti Rus, okay? Now, I think Franchon Cruz is probably a little better at that than uh, Alicia, the Empress, and so I think she's probably going to have more success in getting to the inside, you know, uh, uh, in, in terms of taking the fight uh, to Seti Rus. If that happens too much in the fight, I think that 
you know franchise and cruz is going to have the edge in that you know in that battle if he was able to get on the inside okay if if cruz if if our cellulose can stop cruz from coming on the inside then uh, i think it's going to be the fight is going to go uh for cruz and cruz could probably knock her out if she get on the inside so Cedric was gonna have to keep the fight at range, keep at distance, use her jab, you know, use her leverage, you know, that she has on the outside, and you know, uh, try to keep uh, Fan Chung Cruz at the end of a jab. Okay, if she can do that for the fight, she should have a good chance of winning the fight. But you know, we don't know how it's gonna play out. We're gonna have to wait and see. And you know, that's the <laughs> that's the exciting part about this fight. You know, it's gonna be a great fight, I believe. Okay. Uh, both of these women have championship caliber. Okay, we saw uh, Sadie Rose display that in the fight against uh, Alicia, you know, and uh, you know she showed that she had uh, she had the championship spirit down the stretch, and uh, that's how she beat uh, Alicia down the stretch. You know, what I mean, in the championship, you know, uh, uh, part of the fight, basically, you know, towards the end of the fight, middle to the end of the fight, she put it on. You know, she. She raised her level. So, yeah, this should be a great fight, you know. Uh, should be a fantastic fight, actually. So, also, we are, you know, in that, you know, we're going to see how it plays out eventually, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the fight. It's going to be a great fight. Now, we also have, uh, as you all know, uh, Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosis Jr. Uh, that should be an interesting fight. Uh, we don't really know, you know, what... Uh, what Cambosis is going to bring to the table. We already know what uh, Teofimo brings to the table, but a lot of people probably haven't seen Cambosis before. I think he is lad, he's coming up a win against Selby, which was a you know pretty good fight. He won that fight. You know, it was a fairly close fight, though. Uh, okay, and, you know, I started the fight. Didn't, uh, Cambosis didn't really show me anything spectacular in that fight, so uh, I'm not sure what he's going to bring to the table against Lopez. You know, I'm thinking that Lopez will probably, you know, should be able to school him in this fight and probably stop him. Okay, uh, so we have, you know, I, I mean, he hasn't fought the kind of uh, that is, uh, Cambosis hasn't fought the kind of quality uh, fighters that Teofimo has fought. So I'm thinking that he's at a disadvantage in that area, and you know, the experience, you know, in big fights that Lopez has should, you know, should show in this fight, and Lopez should take this fight. Uh, should be a fairly, I mean, I don't know how difficult the fight is going to be for Lopez. We'll, we know, we'll have to see what Cambosos bring to the table, but uh, it should be an interesting fight, I would think. Okay, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what that fight, how that fight plays out, because it's going to tell us where Cambosos is, and, you know, uh, we already know where Lopez is. You know, he's at the top of the game right now, and I'm thinking that he he's probably just going to, Go in there and uh, take care of business against Cambosis in you know in, in, in a fairly comfortable uh, fight for him. Uh, he probably win you know you know by a fairly comfortable margin if the fight go the distance. And he, he, it's a possibility he could stop Cambosis, but we're gonna have to see how the fight plays out. You never know because let's like say styles make fights, and uh, this fight you know it, it, we could see a surprise maybe. From Cambosis, he might surprise us, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Also, you know, we have uh, Hunter versus Wilson, a heavyweight battle. Okay, we are, you know, Michael Hunter, uh, up and coming heavyweight. Okay, so he's gonna be displaying, you know, his skills against uh, Wilson in this fight. Okay, uh, and we also, you know, have uh, Vences versus Carroll, Jono Carroll. The last time I saw Jono Carroll fight was against. Uh, uh, he was fighting for the super uh featherweight title against uh what's his name the guy that just lost to jojo that lost to jojo diaz i can't catch his name right now but you all know what i'm talking about okay uh that's this should be an interesting fight as well so all in all we're gonna have uh four fairly you know uh, four great fights i would believe uh well at least one great fight between Cedros and Cool Desert. And that's probably the best fight on the card, I would think. Okay, uh, you know, that's the one for the undisputed. Uh, we have uh, 
Lopez and Cambosas fighting for a unified title. Now, you know, the, the Cambosas and uh, Lopez fight, Teofimo Lopez Cambosas is being billed as an undisputed fight, but, you know, that's not the case, you know. Uh, Lopez is the unified champion, even though he's claiming to be undisputed and his, you know, uh, his team and his camp is claiming that he's undisputed. But in actuality, he's actually a unified champion. If you Google uh, Teofimo Lopez, you'll see he's described as the unified champion, not the undisputed champion. So there's a lot of dispute about whether or not he's undisputed or not. So, and you know, in that case, if you are having, you know, a dispute, then he can't be undisputed, okay? So undisputed means there's no dispute. But currently, there's a dispute about his status as, as, as the undisputed champion. So, you know, it goes without saying that he's not undisputed just just for that alone okay so at this point you know uh he's trying to claim undisputed but as long as he hasn't beaten Devin Haney he can't be undisputed and you know those are the facts regardless of what he's saying or whatever the WBC or whatever they want to say at the bottom line is you have the world champion WBC world champion out there which is uh Devin Haney who is fighting uh Linares you know coming up soon as well so until Teofimo Lopez fight and beat uh, Devin Haney, he's not undisputed, and you know I won't be describing him as undisputed because he's not. That's just the reality of the situation. Okay, I mean he would like to be undisputed, but he's not. And if he wants to be undisputed, he, he's going to have to fight Devin Haney and and beat Devin Haney to become undisputed. And you know that's the way I see that. But besides all of that, you know it's going to be a night of great fights, and I'm looking forward to it, and you should too. So make sure you tune in on uh saturday june 19th for these you know for a, a great uh night of fights uh headed by uh ellen Sedeus versus franchon cruz for undisputed at the super middleweight uh level so it should be a great night so make sure you tune in and check it out uh that's all i have for right now i'm gonna leave it there uh Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Go to tbeboxing.com. Get the latest news, headlines, and boxing commentary. You can also donate to the channel from there as well. Uh, that's all I have for right now. This is TBE Boxing. I'm out.